This is, this is, this is. Here it is, brand new episode, September 23rd. Every Monday I put out one of these podcasts, and this is the brand new episode, and it's a Music Monday. That means it's music submitted by you, the audience, to me. How you do that is you get a face, uh, you, you go to Facebook, and you become part of the My Carrera Podcast Facebook group, and then you post a YouTube link on the wall right there on Facebook. I'll read it, I'll grab it. Please give me a little description. Give me a little little something, a little story. You know, if I have a little story about the song, it really helps me know what's going on or about the band or something like that. That's Music Monday. I'll show you guys by playing some Music Monday. I'm going to do another one in October. So MXPX, actually, October's coming quick. So uh, not this weekend, but next weekend, October 4th, MXPX is going to be down in Los Angeles, San Pedro to be exact. And we're playing with No Effects, Dropkick Murphys, a ton of bands. It's going to be an amazing weekend, but we're kicking it off Friday. You know, Friday tonight. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get to play that. Uh, we, ha we have a shorter set than, than our normal headlining set, of course. Um, commemorating, celebrating, uh, partying it up for No Effects. And their very, very last weekend, they're going to be a band ever. It's so weird. It's so weird. They've done it so well. They've they've They've... They've done so well at doing their last tour, doing all these shows, these huge shows, having all these people open for them. It's, uh, I commend them. Really well done. Job well done, No Effects. All right, so we'll be down there for uh, October 4th, and then we're right into Halloween season, you know. So uh, I think um, we're going to be doing live streams. Um, I, right now I'm looking at Thursdays. I hope you, I hope you like Thursdays because right now Thursdays are working for the band. I'm not saying they're going to be Thursdays always, but for right now, come see us live on the internet this Thursday, um, we'll be on MXPX YouTube. That's really the best place to look because it sounds better there. Um, <clears throat> Facebook, obviously a great place. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to the MXPX YouTube it will help you find out when we go live exactly. All right. Um, we're not new at live streaming, but we are because it's been so long. We feel kind of rusty. It's like when a comedian hasn't been doing stand-up comedy for a while and he gets back on stage. He's a little like, whoa, this is strange. So, you know, we, we did it again. And it's, it's more strange just because there's a protocol that needs to be done, tech, technology, entering stream keys, doing all this stuff on the, the web and... You know, that changes every now and again. And um, there was a huge change um, over the last last year, really. You know, and, and it took us a while not to just figure out that change. But once we decided with the live stream, once we decided to redo our live stream setup, we also decided to redo our audio setup because that wasn't... Our console is very old, and there was things about it we didn't like. Um, and so we got that console. We we got rid of it, long story short. And then I was like, okay, my bright idea. I just got a newer mixer, put it up there, decided to use all outboard preamps and gear, and, and, and it didn't really work. It didn't work, in my opinion. It didn't sound good enough to what we wanted for the recording studio in general. Not just the live stream, but the recording studio. Everything it was just like, no, this isn't the right fit for this room and, and that control room upstairs. So um, we looked into a bunch of things. We, uh, you know, we researched, me and Rick. Rick is the guy that helps me build all the stuff here at the studio. And Rick, you know, would send me a bunch of links and I'd be looking at consoles and, Oh, this could be really cool. This could be really cool. And finally, we we kind of just were like, why don't we try to get the console we had? Rick had sold it to a guy he knew in Tacoma, and he and Rick had a console that he also one of his that he was like, I'm going to sell this to him. So he sold him this other console, and then we took and bought back our original Soundcraft. So, um, originally, funny thing is, originally it was Rick's Soundcraft. He put it in the studio. We used it for a while. Um, and in return, you know, we had 
he had borrowed a bunch of gear from us as well. And so when we got the Soundcraft, the same console back, we actually bought it. So now it's my Soundcraft. And it's our it's ours. Um, but that doesn't matter. I mean, we all use whatever we need to use around here and, and we borrow and 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 swap out gear quite often actually. So anyway, that has been a journey, just really, really uh, trying to fix a lot of the things upstairs, recording studio wise, and I feel like we're eighty percent there, and I I need to run a few more tests as far as like recording studio setups, um, everyday setups, no problem, um, overdubbing. Um, doing vocals, doing guitars up there. It's not a big deal. It's more about like the communication and the talkback mic system going down here and back up, which luckily we don't really use for the live streaming. It's just there's nobody up there when we're doing these live streamings right now. Um, in the past, we've had Gavin Olson, a buddy of ours. Uh, he's been doing mixing up there, but like it's kind of just set and then we'll just tweak it as we go. But um, not as we go, but like in between each live stream, we'll tweak a few things, but I, I, I'm happy with it now. So, um, it'll, it'll, it'll st still be getting tweaked. Um, we turned it up quite a bit, tested that we're like, okay, it could go up even more. Maybe, I don't know. Let's go up until it breaks until it's like, <sighs> so that's what I'm going to try to do <laughs> for the next one. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the live streams. If you want us to keep doing them, if not, then I mean, if people, Obviously, people have to know about them, so my job is to let you know we're starting to do these things again, but um, we just have fun with it, you know. It, it, it's a different feeling. Uh, I love I love the idea of, of singing for people because you're not only practicing the song, you know, we're in practice here, you know, doing songs, but people get a little extra show. They get something for free. They get so something that they didn't really even th think about throughout the day maybe of course now that i'm going to start telling people about it maybe they will start thinking about it throughout the day all right uh i don't even know what i'm talking about i'm just talking about live streams um no effects is is coming up real soon and that means once october is in full effect you know it's going to be november like that that means chicago is coming right after that we're being uh we're going to be in chicago two nights back to back it's going to be amazing um, playing Metro, MX Peaks in the Ataris, kind of uh, another another brick in the wall for the Find A Way Home Tour. Um, really excited. Um, two nights in Chicago. Like, we've done two nights in Chicago. It's going to be good to be back to back in Chicago on Friday the 13th, December the 13th, Saturday the 14th. Um, tickets on sale right now. Go to mxpeaks.com. Get your tickets. Don't wait. It really helps us out when you buy tickets earlier. Helps out the algorithm. It helps out everything online with the way the world works today. Um, we appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you can't afford tickets if, or if you don't live in Chicago and you can't go, I understand that, obviously. Don't buy tickets. Go to mxpeaks.com. You want to support us, you can always buy merch from there. And then on the free side, just go listen to us on YouTube. Go listen to MXPeaks on any streaming service that you might be subscribed to. Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, all of, that, all of those above. Um, just listening helps too. Um, I was writing the last couple weeks. And then for about a week, I got really busy working on a few other projects. I haven't really been writing. So uh, I'm going to tell myself, let's get back to it. And I'm going to do that this week. That's my challenge. Um, so Chicago, please, if you're going to come, let me know. Tag us. Maybe post uh, the poster with, you know, on your stories or whatever it is. We'd love to see that kind of stuff. If you already have come to a show and you haven't tagged us in something you posted, please repost it. Be like, this was awesome. Tag MXPX. That's something I don't tell people to do quite enough either. So thanks for that. I appreciate you. All right, let's get to Music Monday. I'm excited for it. Um, like I said, I'm going to do another one in October. So this is going to be um, just a few Music Monday entries, and we'll just get that, 
get an EP going, an extended play, a little mix going. Here we go. Here's the first one. And uh, Bob sent me an email with with uh, a bunch of submissions. So here we go. Starting out with Luke Morrow. I guess I missed the part that Music Monday is supposed to be a YouTube link. And I posted the Spotify link last time. So here's the YouTube link if you get it, if you get to it next time. Luke, you nailed it on the head. That is exactly why I did not put you in there. It, unless you unless you were just later than when I when I posted. But I kind of have a feeling you posted a Spotify link. But that's cool. It's just it's for a lot of reasons, but the main reason is I want people of I want everyone to be able to go and listen to this. And I always post the YouTube link on the show notes. So you can listen to every one of these songs. All right, let's get to your song, Reaction Feed. The song's called Relics of a Past Life. To your presence and never felt so alone Relics of a past like those shirts I don't wear They still smell of you, a strand of your hair It's my fault, I know And these scars, they show facial expression on the video um cool man that's that's cool stuff it's got this blinky vibe to it it's got this nostalgia vibe to it i like it um it's like a punk ballad yeah it's like a punk ballad i think i mean you know we've all done punk ballads you know <laughs> it makes px says quit your life uh what else do we have i don't know but maybe like um no oh, quit your life is is that's that's our ballad kind of um i'm sure we have a few other ones but what really qualifies and i think this almost qualifies i mean it's a punk ballad so it's like it's got this alt punk vibe to it um yeah man i think you're gonna get people that are into that that, are, that, that it's got a rawness and a realness to it it's not super compressed and over overly mixed and put in there it's it's very raw but i think it the performances aren't bad, so it, it kind of works, you know. It's like, all right, the mix isn't that great, but but the fact that I can hear the voice so loud is like, it's okay because it sounds cool. It's like right there in your face. I like it. Um, all right. Good job, Luke. Let's get to uh, Ricardo Ortega. He says, hey, Mike, our single from our last album, Working on the... Uh, our single from the last album, Working on the Next. Hope you like it. Sorry I mis misread uh, that. But you know me. Um, never went to college. Just went to high school. Regular old public high school. All right, here we go. Here's uh, how do you cook your fries. And uh, I don't know if that's the song or what, but that's, I think the, the band's called Take Back or Downhill From Here. Sometimes it's not very clear because, well, guys and and gals, if you just write it in your message to me what your band name is and what the song is, then there's no question. But when I when I download these off the the off the YouTube link, it's not always very it's not always very obvious. So, all right, and I'm not looking right at the YouTube page, which is why I can't go back and read it or whatever. All right, here we go. Let's let's check. <laughs> This is, good. this is a good one, you guys. I'm glad you came for this quality programming <laughs> on this podcast. All right, here we go. Here's uh, How Do You Cook Your Fries. We're in a room of 22, but never had it so.
right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Good job, dude. Whatever it's called, I like it. Um, again, you know, it's a little rough, like the recording, but like the bass town's cool. I like the bass town. I'm growly guy. I'm go, 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 go. The melody of this song, the, the hooks, really well done. It's got a Green Day vibe to it. I really like old school Green Day, not new school. Like it's like their first album kind of stuff. Like I really like that. Uh, I'm a huge fan. Anyway, good job. Good job. Really cool song. Thanks for thanks for submitting. All right. And next time, add like exactly what the song, you know, the band is called and and your name. So, here we go. Here's the next one. <clears throat> Stephen Pate. MXPX was awesome with the Drowns at Airport Tavern. Wonder if they'll like this. How about you? And uh, and here's the link. Here it's it's a uh, it's called Treason. And I don't know what the band is called. So here's Stephen. Thanks for coming to the show at the in Tacoma at the Airport Tavern. That was that was so much fun. Um, yeah, what a weird just like random. We literally announced that show in one week later the show happened and it was sold of course it was sold out but it, still 500 tickets like in Tacoma smaller town like it's like Bremerton I guess but yeah thanks guys um let's get to this song treason let me turn this up real quick so you guys can hear this song treason yeah Two, three, four. that too that lets it's old school punk it reminds me of uh of like um north american bison uh which is a really obscure band from i guess they were from seattle or some like i don't know because they they would play silverdale um the the, the boy scout hall in silverdale uh, that's where i saw them like twice uh maybe maybe i saw them somewhere else in bremerton but it's always local kitsap county but they were they weren't from here they were from east so seattle is east and then maybe it was further east than that but they were always really cool uh not i didn't know them or anything but they were they they were like punks but they just had this like interesting vibe to them and this kind of has that it's got not exactly of course it's, it, this has its own thing but um I, I really like that bass tone at the top i like uh I just like it. It's just old school punk sound. It's just stuff you don't hear nowadays uh, with the vocals. And, and, and man, I just really, really dig that. Anyway, <laughs> I really dig that, man. Good job. Let's get to the next one. Um, Santos Lopez. Hey, Mike, please check out A Bogus Journey. Here's our new video. Uh, this is A Bogus Journey. We're going to check this out right now.
Cool, man. So bogus journey. Um, yeah, man, it sounded solid. Like it starts out, it's 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 your vision. It's um, you know, it's uh, it's got some instrumental right there before it hits again. I don't. I feel like I didn't get to the chorus to be honest. Um, it it gave me a Metallica vibe, but but with a skate punk shell. Uh, what I mean by that is Metallica has really long intros. So I feel like maybe what we just listened to was only the intro of the song. And then that fast part might have been the first verse. Um, and then it goes to an actual chorus. I haven't listened to the rest of the song. But, hey, we don't have time for that. So uh, I liked it. It was good. I, I feel like I feel like we didn't get to the, <laughs> the good part yet. So everybody go listen to Bogus Journey and find out what happens next. All right. Uh, let's get to what's next. Um, Nate Kooning drops it. He says, for Music Monday, dropping my latest single from my solo project, 17 Excuses, featuring John Snodgrass Music. Yes, what's up? My buddy John. Um, I'm out of Longview, Washington. Hope you get a chance to check it. Um, well, I'm going to check it right now. Let's do this. Um, we have something in common, buddy, because John Snodgrass has sung on one of my records, uh, the first Tumble Down album, the self-titled Tumble Down album. He sang on Son of a Gun. Yeah, classic. Great job. Love John. He's been on this podcast as well. Go check out his episodes. He's been on it at least twice. All right, here is Whiskey Hurts. Lie you out of way, thinking about the past mistakes. Use of all the wasted time Spinning all of mine To find two words that rhyme The days are running slow Going through the highs and lows Yeem to turn the wrongs to right It's a losing game To try to win this fight The whiskey used to help Now it mostly That was cool. That was really cool. Uh, what I would do, though, is if you're going to feature John Snodgrass, my only criticism is actually give him a verse. Give him something to sing. Like, he's just on harmonies, which isn't featured. That's just, I guess, I don't think that's my opinion. I think that's true. I think if, you're, if, if you don't actually give the person their own part, it's not a feature. Um, it'd be like me being featured on bass guitar. It's like, dude, I'm just playing bass guitar. Uh, but dude, song's good. Good song. 
well done. I like the vibe. I mean, if people, if there was an artist that really like did this genre well, Drag the River style, they could do well because Drag the River is not really around anymore. Um, Tumble Down is not around anymore. We we weren't big even when we were around. I think we were a little ahead of our time. I don't know what it was, but well, I do know what it was. I've talked about this on the podcast in the past, but having to do with the way the music industry was then. But now, now, now that you can promote yourself and we have all this technology, there's a lot of room for somebody like you. So keep up the good work, man. Whiskey hurts. I, I used to write a ton of songs about drinking and about how hurt it, how hurt you get, you know, uh, heartache and drinking and, and everything with Tumble Down. Um, maybe, you know, I, I was kind of at the end of my arc for writing those drinking songs, but it was probably just because I had written so many at the time. Maybe now my well's filled back up. I mean, I didn't quit drinking. Um, I could write some more drinking songs, but um, eventually I will, I think. Eventually I will. But at the time when, tu when Tumble Down basically stopped playing and I guess we we didn't really break up. We we went on hiatus, but uh, we we were working on more alty kind of stuff. It wasn't as country. It was more not even punk, but just music. You know, it was it was uh, it was just leaning away from the drinking stuff, but. Man, maybe I'm ready for it again. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> well done, sir. Put a, put the damn man on a verse next time, all right? All right. Next up, we got David Robledo. Mr. David, what's up, man? Um, I'm going to read your caption. What's up, Mike? Just wanted to send you something a little different. For Music Monday, Uncle Ben's Children is a three-piece band consisting of me on bass and guitars, Matt on sax, and John on drums. We play instrumentals, and we let the music speak for itself. This song is about a disturbing gentleman, homeless and possibly on drugs, we happen to meet in a grocery line in a supermarket downtown, uh, down in San Diego. He had a doll-type puppet in his hands telling people, this is my puppet, and that he lives, loves his cherry ice cream. Yeah, crazy, right? This is his theme song. Be safe out there, everyone, and hear some UBC in these trying times. Blavid. Blavid, that's right, Blavid. UBC. All right. Let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Here we go. Instrumental. I like the idea of having just like coming across some craziness and then just writing a, a theme song about it. Why not? Here we go. <laughs> nerd stuff there blavid uh man thanks for sending it in man thank i appreciate that um it's some it sounds like something that you would hear on a side tent at burning man you know <laughs> i've never been to burning man but it's very hippie very hippie from what i i think it's just the sax that makes it kind of like that but dude keep doing your thing man thanks for sending it in I love the title, Ice Cream and Heroin. Maybe I'll, maybe that's the name of this podcast, this episode. We'll see. Um, all right. Let's get to... Let's get to one more. Let's get to one more. And we will... We will... Uh, we'll end it there. And we'll do more, you know, in a few, a few weeks from now. All right. Thank you all. 
if you've already submitted, please know that you will be you'll be there. Um, we got some good people. Next up, we got uh, Jeff Breath. He says, "Hey, Mike, hope you're well. I wanted to submit my song Off the Deep End from my side project, Hufflepuff Heroes, for the next time you do Music Monday." I'm trying to spend most of my money on recording more tunes, so I just made a lyric video by editing a public domain film to go along with the music. Super low budget, but hopefully people still find it entertaining, especially what happens near the end of the bridge. Hope you think it's worthy of being shared with your audience, and thanks for checking it out. All right, all right. I hope it's worth uh, sharing with our audience as well. The audience will be the judge. I hope the... People don't turn off as soon as this comes on. All right, Jeff. Here is uh, Hufflepuff Heroes off the deep end. Woo! We're all going off the deep end. I was standing on the ledge Afraid to fall and break my head Scared to spread my way You push me off the edge Don't look down is all you said Then you smiled and winked Yeah, I know that I'll probably drown So I better have some fun while I'm going down I'm not sure if I'll make a sound So you better keep on watching while I hit the ground All right, all right. Cool, cool. All right. I got it. I dig it. I can see what you're trying to do with the recording. It sounds good. It's like, it's uh, it's solid. God, I, I got to tell you, though, right when you started singing, I was like, whoa, okay. That's a different vocal. Um, But... Once I kind of got used to it, I, I like it. I like it's got a unique sound to the voice. So good job, um, Jeff Breath, and the band's called Hufflepuff Heroes. Off the deep end. Cool. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for submitting. Next week, or not next week. Next week we're gonna. Uh, I don't know. I might. I'm gonna have a, a band on soon. Um, one of which is gonna be goalkeeper. Um, I've had them on before, so we're going to have them back. They have a new EP coming. And um, and I'm going to do some more voicemails soon. But then, like I said, in October, um, I'm going to do another Music Monday. It's going to probably start with I Like Snaps, and then we'll go on from there. I Like Snaps, uh, Bears Beats, and Battle Galactic. <laughs> Battlestar Galactica. Okay. That's what we're going to do next time. All right, we'll start with that, and we'll, we'll, we'll get... A bunch more of you guys. So thank you for submitting to Music Monday. You know how to do it. I said it at the beginning, but I'll say it again. Just go to the Facebook uh, group. Be part of that. If you're not already part of that, go to Facebook. Be part of the My Career Podcast Facebook group. It's free, of course. Um, of course it's free. Uh, and uh, if you don't already follow me on socials, please follow me. Follow MXPX. Subscribe to MXPX on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube. This podcast comes out on YouTube. If you like to watch the videos, watch it on YouTube, um, and you'll see the videos. All right. MXPX in Chicago. Go get your tickets now, uh, and I'll see you in, if you're in L.A. I'll see you for no effects very soon. And, of course, live streams. Say what's up to us on the live streams. Tag us. If you, if you come to a show, tag MXPX. Show us some love. I appreciate you. We have new merch at MXPX.com. Go check it out. New hoodies, new t-shirts, really cool stuff. We It's just constant cool stuff, man. I don't know how you guys do it, but thank you for your support. I appreciate you. All right. Shout out to Bob McKnight. Thanks for uh, all, the, all the good work he does. Aside from his normal job, which is like taking out meth heads and thieves at this place he works at. Anyway, I won't go into that. Fun stuff. But uh, mxpeaks.com for all the love. See you next week. Peace.